back over at Lud Shot for one of the tests I've been wanting to do for a little a short while, and that is kind of a Fuji X Trans 1 versus Sigma Foveon test. So just to see which I prefer really, which are easier which are easier images to process, which look better straight out of camera, that type of thing. So I've brought with me, and this may not be quite a fair test actually thinking about it. I should have brought the SD15 probably as a direct more direct sensor competitor with the X-Trans 1, but I brought the DP1 Merrill and the XE1. DP1 Merrill obviously has the Sigma um, lens attached, built in, and XE1 is sporting the Zonlai 22mm. So this was obviously a poorly thought out test, but I was <laughs> I was in a bit of a scramble to get out because if I swing this round you may see how dynamic the sky is looking. So uh, we seem to have a fair bit of drama I would say in the clouds and that being the case I thought I'll rush over to Ludshot, grab a couple of cameras, chuck them in the bag and away we go. So, yeah, I picked up the XE1 and I put the Zonlai 22mm on it because I thought that's close-ish field of view to the DP1 mirror. And actually, as I was walking over here, I thought, <laughs> this is another, another sign how poorly prepared this test was. Um, on the way over here, I thought, actually, maybe I should have put the Fuji 16mm lens Ideally, I would have used the Fuji 18mm lens, but since I sold that about a year ago, um, we won't be using that one. So, yeah, I guess the 16mm, that would have been... Oh, I'll tell you, that, yeah, oh, what I've realised... OK, so what I've now realised is <laughs> the 16mm would have been an ideal... The 16mm Fuji lens would have been an ideal competitor for the 24mm... Sigma lens on the SD15. That's going to be the next test. It's been good exercise for me rushing over here and I just spotted over there some really uh, what look at like some really good autumn colour. So let's see if we can do something with that bit of autumn colour over there. Actually it did have some better light on it just now but um, We'll start with the DP1 Merrill again. Sixtieth of a second at f6.3. I'm using the AEL button on the back to lock the focus and then allowing the meter to meter for the sky. It's looking pretty good over in that direction as well now, I have to say. So we're going to do a test over there as, as well. That seems to take for ages to take that shot, I don't know why. Finger trouble maybe? I don't know, but it looks good. I'm just waiting for that thing to finish right into the card there, obviously. And now I'm going to take the same two shots with the XE1 and the Zonlai and normally obviously I this is all man manual on this thing normally I hold this thing up to my eye but uh, the level gauge the level gauge on this XE1 for some reason is only present on the rear LCD screen not through the viewfinder So, um, and like you can see perhaps here just uh, what I was looking at over there in terms of um, 
some drama where the sun is uh, not quite breaking through yet. I'm probably going to stay out here for a little while just to see if we've got some, you know, late sun, late light. I have brought a tripod with me, my mini, my mini Ben Row thing, travel thing. I brought that with me today just in case. Yeah, the, the shutter speeds need to be that low. Last time I was out here, it did get a bit uh, dark. It got dark fairly quickly, as it does when it's yeah, um, cloudy late on. Hmm. Quite a lot of autumn leaves on the ground now, and still some on the trees. Maybe the best has passed, but it seems to be very divided up, I think, this year. Some of the trees seem to have gone early, and some haven't gone at all, yet. So, um, that light looks like it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be good to me. That looks like it's going to be... We could have some interest in... Um, Late sun over there. Once that cloud just gets to the, uh, you know, once the sun just peers out from underneath that cloud, that could be quite pretty. Let's walk around a bit further and um, actually, yeah, we may have some late sun on these trees and bracken here as well, potentially. Depends how close it is to the horizon when it breaks that cloud. Whatever, it's always a treat to be out here, to be honest. I'm just going to wait here for a few minutes now and see um, see what happens. So I've decided to put the DP1 on the tripod for this shot now. And we're going to go over to manual focus. because we've got some really good, oh, very late sun here, and let's see what we can do. There we go. 13th of a second at f8. And I'm gonna take a second shot there, slightly different, just align it slightly differently. I'm going to go to F11 just to give me a bit more depth. And that's going to be an eighth of a second. Often I would use the um, slow uh, two second timer for that, but there's pedestrians coming with dogs, so I'm going to pick the camera up quick. So yeah, hopefully some good light there. 